Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Under our proposal, the federal government would put up to 700 billion taxpayer dollars on the line to purchase troubled assets that are clogging the financial system. You're not going to cheat me again. It's too much. I haven't anything more to give. And it should be enacted as soon as possible. In close consultation with Treasury Secretary Hank Paulson, Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke, and SEC Chairman Chris Cox. I hate you. I hate the day I married you. I hate everything about you. Under Russian actions, particularly in the last couple of weeks, does the, does the proximity of the state give you? They're our next door neighbors, and you can actually see Russia from land here in Alaska. Well, explain to me why that enhances your foreign policy credentials. Well, it certainly does. As Putin rears his head and, and uh, comes into the airspace of the United States of America, where, where do they go? It, it's Alaska. Do you agree with the Bush Doctrine? In what respect, Charlie? The Bush, well, what, do you, what do you interpret it to be? His worldview. An improbable person with a contempt for humanity, an inability to love or be loved. But how can such a woman fool so many? How does any Eve do it? But to be fair, her resume is not something that we're familiar seeing with presidential candidates. Well, it's stronger, than, it's stronger than Barack Obama's. I don't know why you guys walk around saying this baloney. She has a stronger resume than Obama. She's been a real mayor. He hasn't. We started talking. She wanted to know about Hollywood. She seemed so interested. She's a girl of so many interests. It's a pretty rare quality these days. A girl of so many rare qualities. So she seemed. So you've pointed out so often, so many qualities so often, her loyalty, efficiency, devotion, warmth and affection, and so young, so young and so fair. What we believe in is what Ronald Reagan believed in, and that is an America that is a nation of exceptionalism. And bone structure has a lot to do with it, too. I don't get the connection. What's the connection between liberal and leftist that, that, and anti-American? Anti-American I mean, is the point. Anti because, well, the, the liberals that are Jeremiah Wright and that are Bill Ayers, they're they're over the top anti-American, and that's the question that Americans have. Remember, it was Michelle Obama who said she's only recently proud of her country, and so these are very anti-American views. That's okay. not the way that most Americans feel about our country. Most Americans, Chris, are wild about America, and they're very concerned to have a president who doesn't share those values. I've taken all I'm going to from you and from everybody else. Absolutely. So you believe Obama yes. may have anti-American views? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I'm very concerned that he may have anti-American views. That's what the American people are concerned about. That's why they want to know what his answers are. That's why Joe the Plumber what, has what, figured what, so highly in the last few days. Okay. Because Joe the Plumber asked a question that a lot of Americans want to know. You tell me what it's worth to me to be civilized. Well, I spoke, I was asked by the Heritage Foundation to speak as part of their National Defense Month. What a dump. The fact that you could have a nuclear event, you could have an electromagnetic pulse attack, which would knock out all the electricity in the country, you could have a biological attack, you could have a cyber attack, which knocked out by taking out the information systems, large parts of the country, uh, or you could have a breakout in a form we don't understand, because some of the science that's developing around the world is not in the United States. We don't know what it is anymore. Uh, if I don't get out of here, I'll die. If I don't get out of here, I hope I die. We should just throw Judaism away and we should all be Christians then. Or, yeah. Really? Well, it's a lot of easier. So it's kind of a fast track. Really? You don't yeah. read, you, you have to you obey. Can't, you can't possibly believe that. You can't possibly. <laughs> yes. You're too educated. You, you can't. Are you, you're like, <laughs> you like my team. Do you know what? Christianity is. See, we believe your religion, but you have to obey. No, no, no. But I we mean, have the fast track program. Sure. You selfish bitch. I don't know fact, if you've been paying attention. Israel, that's why Israel left the earth. I mean, what, no Jews? Um, no. We think we just want Jews to be perfected, as as they. How dare you do this to me? How dare you come back and make me care? He's been in Congress for 26 years, almost always sided with less regulation, not more. 
He's also known as the Maverick, though. And she'll never let us forget it. Do you believe that God says it's a sin? Well, I, I believe a lot of people understand it that way, but I think everybody's God's child, too. So I have, you know, trouble with that. I'd like to kiss you, but I just washed my hair. Bye. I think one of the biggest thing problems we're facing in the military right now is is young women in the military, oh. uh, and then we end up with Hit pregnancies us. in the military. Oh, doctor, what a relief to know that you're no better than I am. Ultimately, what the bailout does is help those who are concerned about the health care reform that is needed to help shore up our economy, um, helping the... Oh, it's got to be all about job creation, too, shoring up our economy and, and putting it back on the right track. So health care reform and reducing taxes and reining in spending has got to accompany tax reductions and tax relief for Americans. And trade, we have, we've got to see trade as opportunity, not as a, a competitive, um, scary thing, but one in five jobs being created uh, in the trade sector today. We, we, we've got to look at that as more opportunity. All those things under the umbrella of job creation, this bailout is a part of that.